getting pretty close now. Hello there, everyone. KY in here, and welcome back to my Let's Play Lemmings Plus 3. So last time I saw three more levels of the Fierce rank. So this brings us to the final level of Fierce, and therefore the final level of the pack. Um, I was told by Namita that this is a really hard level, so this might take a while. Um, but if all goes well, this will be the final video of the Let's Play. But, um, um... Yeah, it all depends on how long it takes uh, to solve Fear 16. Um, so, um, it, just really, it just really depends on that, because this is the only load that's left. And so, um, we're about to uh, see me uh, try and solve the load. Uh, so let's get into the uh, Let's Play and see if I'm su successful or not. Alright, Fear 16, the final stand. 50 lemmings, 40 to be saved. Okay, and we are under a time limit of 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Well, that's good to know that the low's short then. But, just because the low is short does not mean that it's going to be an easy level. Okay, so we have 4 builders. Well, I think it's clear that all of them would... Oh, actually... Mm, can we even... Build all the way from the uh, tip of the steel over here. That's a question uh, to be worth considering. Uh, though, yeah, it appears that the intention is to simply keep going to the right. So, um, if that's the case, yeah, then we already then we already need two builders here. Okay, um, so that would probably mean that we would have to like use the structure on the right, right where the exit is, yeah, in order to um, get up to the exit. Um, I could probably see like um, a lot of like, oh, I, oh, we only have one basher, so um, okay, um, maybe just maybe we would just have to bomb and then. Um, hmm, okay, okay, and we also had this too, um, so that would mean that the basher would have to go there then, I would think. Uh, let's see then, so that's the case, then we'll probably have to like use a bomber or possibly even a miner here. Um, Well, let's see then. Uh, I don't think we have to worry about those, or at least shouldn't worry about those who turn around. Okay, good. Okay, pass through this one we will. Yeah, how many end up turning around though? Um, actually, I think we just can simply block. Yeah, therefore, we don't need to assign climbers. Okay, um, and then we get to here. Um, let's see. Um. Hmm. Because I am wondering... There's even a possibility of using the top up here, uh, which I probably don't think is likely. Yeah, instead we would probably have to go here. But in all honesty, oh, hold on a second. No. Okay. Um. So here we will probably have to let's see. Uh, let's probably put it to me about 80 or so. Okay, and then let's go ahead and drop the release rate back. Okay, so we're gonna try to do this so that we get possibly just one builder rather than two.
Ah, come on. Uh, no, not like that, though. Yeah, I want to make sure that he does not chip some of the uh, builder staircase away. So, let's go ahead and put it to 76 then. There we go. Perfect. Yep. That spares us a builder, but unfortunately I used two um what do you call it? Miners in the process. So I don't know if that's gonna do us more harm than good, but um I guess we'll see. Uh, I don't think it really matters if they're trapped down there or not. Because fortunately, we could lose several here. But we have plenty of bombers, though. Um. Yeah, we do have several bombers. So. I don't know what could, that's going to help us with, though. Okay, we don't have a basher. Okay, that will probably prove to be problematic since, um, yeah. So I was hoping that we could just simply bash across. Yeah, and this isn't even high enough. Um. But, yeah, through this one-way wall is the only way. I would think. Pretty sure we can't even go up. Um... Or oh, it might even be the way, actually. Um... Might be. I, d I don't even know. Let's pack it up a little. I mean, let's try though. This isn't even possible to reach, which is a builder, though. Uh, it appears to not be. Um, not unless we use a miner to keep the um, builder going, it appears. So if I did this, yeah, then I start blocking them and getting up. Let's try maybe um, sending up a climber first before we bash through. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know if that, that was the same thing though. Yeah, it doesn't seem to quite reach. So, seems like it will always be like at least a pixel off. Uh, yeah. It doesn't seem like it will connect, so no, never mind. Um, you know, if I send climbers up. Um, yeah, but then that would just leave it with just climber left, probably. Unless I just, unless it's possible to just simply use one bomber here. I mean, one, um, climber. Let me see. No, maybe if I put it a little higher. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that spares me some more miners. Got two trapped down here and also two trapped down there. So that's... Plus the bomber, so that's five... Six. Um... Six, so that means I am allowed four more losses, I believe. Okay, so we have more miners to get down now. Or at least to get down to where they are, to the crowd. Down here. Um, well, I know it's not going to work anyway, but um, I want to see how far it is from this tip of the steel. Okay, so it's, it actually is reachable with four builders, but we're already forced to use a builder here, I believe. Um, at least I'm pretty sure we're, we're forced to use a builder. Yeah, 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 we're forced to use at least one builder here, so therefore we can't get to the exit from here, because we, 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 we'd be short one builder, so... Okay, but yes, um, I just wanted to check to see if it really is reachable, which is with the four builders that we are given. And the answer is yes, but we are forced to use a builder here. Therefore, we cannot just build on the tip of the steel there, which means we would have to use the structure here in order to get to the exit. But how to do that, yeah, it's not an easy task. Um... This map at. I don't even know if it's even possible to save a basher for there, actually. I mean, I guess we could try, but, um... Um... I mean, let's, let's see, though. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty low, I would think. Okay. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna end up pretty low, though. I think that's the only thing. Yeah, plus I think we're, gonna, we're not gonna come anywhere near breaching the wall, so... Um... Yeah, we're not gonna come anywhere uh, close to breaching through the wall. So, I think therefore our best bet is to simply bash through the one we wall. Alright, so I guess we'll have to make do with what we can, with the remaining skills we have. Yeah, I really, really feel uneasy about using a basher through this wall, but I think that's the best we can do. Um, okay. And then, let's go ahead and mine down. Um... Builder should be enough, I would think. No, it's not. That's way too high. But, if we bomb, yeah, then I, then I think it's enough. It is not, okay. It is not enough. Okay. Then that's not enough either. Hmm. So, I guess that would mean that we would have to bomb a little lower then. Okay, and we need to get everyone out now. This time is running out. Nope. Just like the wrong timing to do the toss there. Right. Oh, that's not high enough. Or rather, um, yeah, that's too deep, huh? Okay, looks like he can't fall then. So we just have to bomb at the very tip. But if this happens, then yeah, that becomes this becomes too high. Uh. Really? Hmm. Now it's high enough. Or rather, low enough. Alright. This might not even work out, though. Yeah, even though I have a minor. Oops. Oops. 
yeah. Because we still have that there. Um... Um... Hmm, then again, I could probably see, like, maybe sent some climbers up here. Yeah, I could probably see doing that, actually. Um, let me see. I didn't do any or, or twinkling, I don't think. This map map, maybe this guy we can start building with. Alright, let's walk here. Send up a climber, and then send up another. Let's bomb here. Alright, let mine through. Bash. Unfortunately, I don't have a miner. Um, we got plenty of bombers, though. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. If we mine. If we had in our mind, mind the other way. Um. Uh, let's see. Um. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Yeah, because we are still up pretty high. Or rather, this is still pretty high up. Uh, but unfortunately, we don't have any more miners. Um, I could probably see like, maybe climber bombing here instead. But um, I'm going to use a miner here. Then it's essentially the same thing as before. Um... Yeah, it's just that one, one way up here. Yeah, then we can start, like, getting them up, I would think. Hmm. Perhaps... Sending someone up.
No, I still don't think that would have helped anyway. But I'm just gonna check. Off by pixel there. Um, yeah, I've only added like maybe another climb or something. Uh, then again, we do have two miners. Ah, maybe, maybe that would be something. So let's go back to what I did before. Oops. Alright, you can block there. Perfect, now I have that extra uh, climber that I can probably use. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe bomb here. Unfortunately, when I bomb, you know, I'm going to be taking taking out the um, terrain with it, or rather, the builder staircase with it. So, what happens if I maybe just bomb there instead?
quite reach. Yeah, they will reach if they are able to get up here though. Uh let's see. go the other way due to the arrows. Um, wait. Um, what if I bomb and then mine? We still require like a lot of bombers to get down there though. Uh it might be feasible though. Lemming to release the blocker, and there we go. Now, oh, I don't have any more blockers though. Yikes. Yikes, that is a problem. Mind a little, or rather, bomb the first one a little higher. Yeah, can the same thing still be achieved though? Yeah, I don't even know if he managed to um, carve a hole in there. That's perfect. No. 
now. Can we get up there? Nope. Okay, what if I had left one more? Oh yeah, and I was afraid that somebody would start going to the spot. Okay, um, let me go ahead and have some go through then. Perfect, perfect. Okay, but we are running really low on time, though. Oh, and I have no more blockers. Yikes. Yikes again. Um. However, I do have a climber. Um, so let's go ahead and send one up, send another, yeah, oh, actually, no, can't do it yet. Okay, and I would need both of the, I mean, all the climbers to survive, I would think. Yeah, in the meantime, yeah, let's go ahead and bash towards the, bash through the wall. Bomb. Oh wait, um, so maybe I don't want them that close. Also max out the release right here. staircase. And again, oh, actually, no, we wouldn't have another builder. Not unless I don't release the, um, whatchamacallit, the, um, climber first. Or rather, the, um, the crowd in here first. But the climber's right there. Yeah, again, is he going to blow through the... Yeah, he unfortunately will. So... Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and send two climbers up. Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead and bash through the one we wall. Oh, actually, no, 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 I don't want to do that yet. As a matter of fact, I probably will want to send another climber up in the meantime. Yeah, now we can start bashing through. Alright, let's go ahead and max up the release rate. Okay, and I hope I didn't... 
place it incorrectly here. Uh, let's go ahead and check this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> That's perfect. Alright, bomb. If I bomb this climber, then we just have that. And unfortunately, I think some of them will. It will break through the floor, unfortunately. Yep, unfortunately, it will break through the floor. Okay, I'm getting pretty close here. I'm getting really close. Um... Hmm. Yeah, and if I, um... Uh, let's see. Yeah, perhaps what we can do is, um, we can probably get a, um... Um, like a non-climber in here. There's probably something we can do. Um... Yeah, so that we can, like, block, maybe. I think that's something we can do, actually. Um... Yeah, this is going to require very good timing, though. So... Instead of that... Uh, let's try to find the right time to start bashing. Okay, um... I just need to bash a little later, I guess. Oops. Thank you. 
Alrighty, I wonder if this is the right timing. So, it was almost the right timing. Um... Okay, um, maybe I just need to go a little further back. still be able to work actually. Uh, maybe I don't necessarily have to do that though. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's... Perfect, perfect. Oh, actually, hold on. No, 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 no. Because I got rid of two bo uh, two climbers already. No, 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 no. That doesn't quite work. However, I do have an idea. Yeah, so instead of bombing the climber, I would have to bomb someone else instead. I need this to happen. Yeah, overtake the climber. Very good. Alright. Max out the release rate. Bomb here. Yeah, unfortunately, it's the climbers will have to make another round. But I think that should be okay. Uh, fine. Block the little fur out. Max out the release rate. But yes, anyway, this should be the uh, general gist of the solution. Pretty nice one though. Yeah, but yes, it is a pretty hard one. And yes, I I would say that Nibida has succeeded in making a pretty hard final level for the back. Alright, now I can just let the climber climb up and then bomb. And then that should be it. Yep. One bomber left over. And I hope I saved enough though. One, two, three, four. Yes, I believe it is enough. Yep, and one over the requirement. Awesome. Well, I gotta say, this was a really, really good finale to Lemmings Plus 3. Con Congratulations. Amazing, simply amazing. You overcome every obstacle, beating even the legendary fierce levels. You are truly an exceptional master of Lemmings. There is no doubt. Thanks, Aaron Lang and CC Explorer for Lemmix. Actually, uh, Dynalem 
uh, Minimac and Nepster for pre-release testing and to the Linux forums community in general. And I unlocked a talisman. Interesting. Okay, and with the completion of Fear 16, that brings us back to the first low, which is Timid 1. Okay, this was actually a pretty good pack. I actually like this one. Um, there's definitely no doubt in my mind that Lemmings Plus 3 is harder than either Lemmings Plus 1 and Lemmings Plus 2. Uh, but it's not like over the top hard. Well, at least not yet. Um, because I am told that um, Lemmings Plus 5 is probably the hardest um, pack in the Lemmings Plus series. Um, along with the side entries, um, uh, Lemmings pl uh, Plus Omega 2 and uh, Lemmings Plus Alpha. Um, I've only played Lemmings Plus Alpha, and truthfully, I didn't think it was that bad. Um, and so, really, I would have to see, uh, uh, with the high difficulty with Lemmings Plus 5 and, um, uh, Lemmings Plus Omega 2. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those two packs will really, really test my, um, solving abilities. But, uh, I look forward to solving them, though, because, um, again, I'm one of those people, I don't mind hard levels, and I'm willing to rise to the challenge and, uh, face, and face them. So, um... The fact that they are hard, yeah, it kind of, it, it doesn't bother me at all. Because again, yeah, I, I love hard and challenging lows. Uh, they're definitely my type of lows to play, but I do suffer from burnout from playing nothing but hard lows uh, for quite a while. Um, but in any case, yeah, I, I'm willing to rise to the challenge. It just won't be a while. As um, once I play a pack by a particular author, it gener I generally don't do another pack by that person for at least another two, three months. So therefore, expect another two to three months to pass by before I, before I do um, what's that one? Lemmings plus holiday, yeah. Because I I am told that that should be the next pack to play in chronological, well chronological order. Um, yeah, I think chronological order. Um, because you would think Lemmings plus four should come next, but um, no, there's also the Lemmings plus um holiday as well. So that comes before Lemmings plus four, if I remember correctly. And then um. And so, regarding the lows itself, yeah, the uh, Timber lows, um, I gotta say, it was still a pretty solid rank, yeah, just despite being uh, all X's of everything. Um, yeah, so there wasn't anything too particularly difficult about that rank. Uh, uh, yeah, Timber 6, the rebound, yeah, I saw that low without picking up the, um, the floater pickups. As a matter of fact, what is the talisman here? Okay, so I think it means simply complete love without the floaters, and which I did. So um, um, so I'm good on good there. Even though I don't really, uh, I don't really care about talismans in general. Uh, nothing special there. Nothing special here either. Okay. Uh, just the first love with just pre-placed lemmings. Yeah, no entrance at all. Um, pretty interesting though here though. Um, not too hard, but at the same not. Same time, not too easy either. Uh, but it is a pretty um, interesting load, though. Um, this one was a pretty good one, two minutes ten. Um, yeah, just going underneath the level and um, yeah, just building from the other side, building up from the other side. Okay, and then the first level, uh, which features buttons. Um, yeah, in this pack, I should say, pretty pretty nice one. And as I said before. I could have finished this though with using only builders, but um, yeah, that just simply requires you to place the builders correctly. Uh, symmetrical warfare. Uh, yeah, nothing too hard about this one either. Um, two meter team. Yeah, pretty good one. Yeah, it's almost an excellent everything except you don't have floaters. Yeah. Because if you did have floaters, then essentially it makes it a little really easy. Um, but even then, uh, you could only use it for um, almost um, half half of a um, half of the lemmings. Yeah, there's a couple that you won't be able to give them to uh, from just one entrance. Yeah, assuming that, um, for example, um, the level gives you twenty floaters as well, just like the other skills. But yes, um, this does remind me of that Dublin slow with, with a pretty similar idea. Yeah, just like digging like to like get down an elevator or something like that. 
September 14 excavation expedition, the first of uh, um, of four iterations in this pack. Uh, that's pretty much like the once per pack. I mean, once per rank. Um, so very similar to uh, No Salvation from Lemmings Plus One. Yeah, so this starts off as a five of everything. And uh, yes, you're allowed to lose four here. So because of this, um, um, going out the left side, which is what I used, yeah, that that will also work on the um, final iteration yeah, in the uh, Fierce rank, uh, where you have two of everything. And then the safety requirement was adjusted to to um, make up for the um, uh, that particular solution. Okay, and then nothing too special here. And yes, I feel as if I played this level before in Namita's recycle bin pack. Only I remember it being a lot harder. Yeah, I think I think it was simply due to the skill set being much more restricted. Uh, but Timmy Sixteen was a pretty nice level to finish off the rank, though. Okay, uh, boost jumper. Yeah, I gotta say, dodgy one was a pretty hard load to start off the rank. Um, in particular, getting up the load was pretty difficult. Uh, dodgy two was also a difficult one as well. Although, yeah, here I made it harder than I needed to, I believe. Although, yeah, I did kind of use the waiting game here since um, I pretty much much simply waited for the lemmings to clump up. In uh, four separate groups. Yeah, if there were four. I think there were four. Um, and then... Um, Dachi 3. Yeah, very nice introduction to uh, pickup skills. Um, so... Yeah, what does... Um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. But it was a pretty nice load to like... Um, where you don't start off with any skills. Um, but other than that, yeah, um, nothing too hard about it. Just need to know, uh, which skills to get and, um, which ones will be helpful in helping you solve the level. Uh, and then, yeah, Dodgy 4, this is the second iteration, of uh, Excavation Expedition. So this time we only have four of everything, but here you, ha you have to save everyone. So not, not that much harder. Um... As a matter of fact, I think the same solution that you use for um, the one in uh, Tim and my work here as well. Okay, uh, Dodgy 5, yeah, very nice introduction to one way fields. Uh, or actually, no. We're, was there a one way field um, in Timid? Uh, possibly. I don't remember right now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, nothing too hard about this one. Uh, Dodgy Six, yeah, this one was a little difficult, but that's because I was a little, I was a little bit of a dummy on this one, and I totally failed to realize there was an X on both sides. <laughs> yeah, hence I kept thinking I was a skill short every time, or at least a skill short, I should say. But it is a pretty nice load though. Dodgy Seven, yeah, pretty easy one. Yeah, nothing too hard about this one. Uh, dodgy A, yeah, only difficult due to the very tight time time limit. But it is otherwise a pr pretty straightforward low. Uh, dodgy 9, this was a pretty nice low. Yeah, I really like the fact of um, sending lemmings, a couple of lemmings to the left side to uh, prepare somebody to work on the other side. Yeah, really, really nice one. Okay, dodgy 10, this is like the uh, Vegas back low, I guess you can say. Um... I gotta say this 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 one was pretty difficult. Um, yeah, just realizing what is the most efficient route to take. Uh, I did fall for like getting up the level um, very early in the early parts of it. Yeah, that turns out to be wrong because then because you run out of builders before you can um, um, forge the path entirely and also uh, be able to solve the low. But it is a nice one though. I. And I do find it pretty interesting, just and pretty interesting though, just because it's a duck low. Alrighty, uh, dodgy eleven. Um, yep, nothing too hard about this one either. Um, it's it's a it's, a, it's actually a lot easier than it looks. Uh, dodgy twelve. This was a really nice one. Yeah, I really like this one. 
uh, in particular, I think it was pretty clever with um, chipping off a builder staircase with a miner while also making sure that the terrain um, here was uh, step upable. Yeah, so that let me scan go out to the left and into here again. That was pretty good. Uh, Dodgy 13, a little difficult, but um, yeah, it's just all about knowing um, how to place your skills correctly here. Um, so here, in particular, I simply thought about collecting the um, builder pickup first. But yeah, it turns out there's a much more efficient way to do this. Yeah, instead of making him collect one of the pickups, just simply have him mine and uh, rescue the hatch um, before you lose too many. Now, dodgy 14. <laughs> yeah, this isn't too hard of a lower, but I just simply failed to realize something to help me solve this lower for a really long time. Yeah, I failed to realize that. Um, in particular, I do I do know about chipping a hole in, in a wall with a miner um, because I played a couple of lows that required it. Um, and so I honestly have no idea why I did not see it here for a long time. Um, but other than that, it is a very, very nice level, though. Yeah. All, everything else that you try, yeah, you're just going to be at least a skill short. Or things fail by at least a pixel, so. Uh, Dodge 15. Oh, this was a pretty good low. Yeah, very nice solution here. Uh, Adele here, I got to say, I was taken by surprise with the steel. Um, yeah. Uh, but it is a very nice level, though. Very, very nice solution and very nice puzzle. Uh, Dodgy 16, yeah, to round off the rank, yeah, can be quite a difficult level. Yeah, in particular, the hardest part is just simply getting up low. Um, but again, it's just all about knowing where to do it and basically to use the terrain to your advantage. Yeah, if you know how. Uh, rough run, oh, this was a really good level to start off the rank. Yeah, definitely a difficult one, but um, it's a very, very nice one. Very, very nice solution. I really like the um, uh, releasing the blockers. Yeah, two of them with block uh, blockers, two of them with bashers, and then the the last one with a miner. Very, very clever. Uh, ref two can be difficult. Yeah, despite um, it's being mostly a builders uh, kind of level. But here, you simply cannot waste any builders at all. Yeah, so it's all about allocating them correctly so that you don't uh, run out and um, you're still able to solve the low. Uh, ref 3, this one can be difficult as well, but um, I wonder if I actually um, overcomplicated my solution to low. Um, yeah, uh, in particular for here, um, yeah, do not be fooled by the uh, Low, low save requirement. Yeah, it's simply due to the very high release rate that you will end up losing a lot of them. And the losses add up very, very quickly. Okay, ref form. Um, yeah, it looks difficult, but it's actually not that hard at all. Um, yeah, um, I did not have as many pawns with it as I thought I would. And ref 5, uh, yes, this was the... Um, Although in which it had, it it had a bug in that like um, when pre-placed lemmings are all placed on top of one another, uh, you can only assign one flow and the others you cannot assign any to. That has already been fixed though. But um, yeah, I found that pretty interesting because I didn't even know about that. But then again, I wasn't playing through lemmings plus three uh, at that time, and that was several months ago. And then rep six, uh, rep six, yeah. There's definitely nothing too hard about this one. Uh, just the fact that you only give one skill at the beginning. Uh, but um, it is frustrating to get the timing correct, though. So it does require some really neat um, RR uh, tweaking and everything at the right times. Yeah, in order to make sure that everybody gets into the digger pit on time. Yeah, save for one down who will slip out. Yeah, and hence that's the need for the um, floater. Uh, rough seven, pretty pretty nice one. Yeah, was a difficult one because I kept having problems with the climber. Um, uh, but yes, um, it's just simply all about knowing where to put the skills and and everything. It's a very very nice puzzle. I really like it. Uh, 
yeah, Rep 8, this one wasn't as hard as I thought. It was it was actually far more straightforward, and here I simply like got myself very, very confused. And <laughs> I thought uh, I would run into more problems along the way, but no. Uh, I was simply worrying for nothing. <laughs> uh, rough 9, pretty difficult one. Um, and as a matter of fact, I, I suspect, suspect I also made this level more complicated than I needed to. Um, rough 10, nothing too hard about this one. Uh, really, the, the only hard part is just simply turning the climbers back around again uh, after getting the um, um, the outer buttons. Uh, rough 11, yeah, this should be the Vegas spec level for the um, rough rank. Um, once again, for here, even though it's a 10 up, even though it's an X of everything, um, don't be fooled by it because um, um, it's actually harder than it looks. Um, so certainly, um, by appearance alone, yeah, it does look easier than um, um, than the duck level from the previous rank. But no, um, you will run out of skills very quickly if you are being uh, uh, careless with them. And in here, I believe the builders will always run out. I'm not sure if it's possible to spare at least a builder or so. Okay, and then with 12, you have your third iteration of Excavation Expedition. Now you're down to three of everything, but once again, you need to save everyone. Um, I think here it still might be possible to go out to the left. Uh, but I am not certain. Okay, rough 13. This was a pretty good one. I really like this one as well. Um, yeah, I can see that it being, uh, that it could be difficult, but yeah, I really like this one. Uh, didn't have as many problems as I thought I would. Um, Rep 14, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I had a hard time with this one. Uh, but um, I did watch Namita's Nintendo Solution after I saw this one. And yeah, uh, uh, what he used in his solution, that's exactly what I was trying to get to work. But unfortunately, I did not see it. <laughs> I actually feel a little dumb now that I've seen it. But uh, at the same time, I got to say my solution's a bit cool just because I didn't use any flows or climbers. But no, I um, made it much harder on myself than I needed to. Uh, rough 15, yeah, nothing too hard about this one. Yeah, it's just a time limit. Yeah, that makes this low hard. But um, other than that, the puzzle is not difficult at all. Okay, and then uh, rough 16. This was a really nice uh, level. Yeah, I especially like the fact that it's a builderless one. Um... But, um, yeah, the pieces all pretty much all um, fall in together, and um, it's really it's a really, really nice low. I really like it. And then, finally, for the Pierce rank. Um, yeah, Pierce 1, nothing too hard about that one, yeah, especially since I already know that trick. Uh, with uh, assigning a bomber to a digger who centers on nothing. Uh, um, yeah, I got Lemmings United to take for that. But, um, I'm, I'm gonna guess that if I played this level first, uh, I'm gonna assume that I might have had some problems with it. But then again, I do like the fact that Pierce 1 teaches the trick much better, though, because, um, uh, just because, yeah, it is clear that you have to, like, stop the digger, or otherwise the, uh, both crowds would fall to the bottomless pit. And so, because of that, yeah, I feel Pierce 1 did a much better job. With teaching the trick. So nice job to, to Namita there. And then Fierce 2 is your final um, iteration of Excavation Expedition. It's the fourth one. And now you're just down to two of everything. But now this time you you can lose up to two. And so once again, um, yeah, going out the left side. Yeah, this will definitely also work on the um, on the five of everything as well. Yeah, in the uh, Timid rank. Um, Fierce 3, I found a little bit difficult, um, but it's mostly simply due to the timing that's needed here. Um, uh, but other than that, it's, um, somewhat of a nice puzzle here. Yeah, for 3 of everything. Um, Fierce 4, this one was a bit difficult, and my solution ended up being different for Nimitas. Um, so... 
I'm thinking I probably made my solution a little harder than, than I needed to. Um, Fierce 5. I could definitely see this one being a difficult one um, for others who played this level. Um, and I think I am already somewhat familiar with that trick. Um, but I'm... I was actually taking a little surprised by it. Um, yeah, I just simply thought that all the builder staircase would be removed. But no, it it seems that you have to do it on the very first possible frame, the instant a lemming steps on to the builder staircase. I think that's how you can still keep it intact. And then everyone else can still uh, use it. Okay, Fear 6, this one gave me problems. Um, and in the end, I found a solution that spares plenty of skills. Um, and so, mine is probably a slight background. And, uh, yes, I am already familiar with the, um, uh, like, um, basically, uh, bombing fallers in midair. But, um, yeah, I didn't realize that you can do that here. So that you could use a basher to like release uh, blockers. So, <laughs> so in a way, I made my life harder than I needed to. And I think I, uh, my solution um, came much closer down to the wire on time. Another X of everything puzzle. Yep, as the title suggests for Fear Seven. Yeah, it is an X of everything, but it is actually quite a difficult one. Uh, in particular, the hardest part is just simply getting up the level. And then, I once again, I watched the immediate solution to this one after I solved it. And yeah, um, uh, his seemed a lot easier than mine. Yeah, so mine, I think I just made it far harder than I needed to. Um, and then, in earlier attempts, I probably could have salvaged the solution. Yeah, despite the climbers going out. But yeah, in my successful attempt, I, I got really lucky that the teleporter got the climbers uh, before they could slip past. Okay, Fierce uh, Age, this is the No Time to Die level that is in each of the Lemmings Plus um, packs, as I am told. Yeah, this one definitely seemed a lot easier than the previous um, No Time to Die levels. Yeah, in the Lemmings Plus 1 and Lemmings Plus 2. Okay, um, for uh, Fierce 9, yeah, I did some waning. I did use the waning game here, and as it turns out, yeah, it's definitely not needed. Because, once again, watch the immediate solution. Yep. <laughs> fair, to, fair to realize that that will work. And so, yeah, I resorted to the waiting game there. Um, Fierce 10. Yeah, for the final Vegas spec low for the pack. Yeah, it is an X of everything. Just like um, the Neon Cat. I don't even know how you say it. Um, uh, low... Uh, though this could still be challenging, yeah, due to the uh, wonky and weird uh, terrain. And also, uh, there's, a, there's also a lot of juggling that needs to be done, since it is all pre-placed lemmings. And I certainly remember playing this low in the, new, in the uh, recycle bin pack. I just don't remember if it, if it was all pre-placed lemmings, though. Uh, if you're still on limit your own risk, yeah, <laughs> kind of rings about to uh, enter your own risk from deceased lemmings. Except uh, the solution here is nowhere is nothing like uh, for enter at your own risk. Uh, this one was a really nice one. I really like this one. Yeah, one of my favorites of the rank. Okay, and then Fierce Twelve. Yeah, I ended up using a completely di different solution here uh, than I did for um, uh, when I played this though in the uh, recycle bin pack. Uh, and once again, I did watch the solution, and um, the media does use uh, both digger pickups, whereas I simply just used one of them, yeah, while avoiding the other one. So, I guess once again, I somewhat made my life harder than I needed to here. Um, Fierce 13, yeah, Fierce 13 wasn't too bad. I say the only hard part was at the top on the left side. Yeah, that part was was uh, the hardest to figure out. But other than that, yeah, the rest was quite easy. And then Fierce 14, yep, uh, had a short discussion with Nibiata on Discord here. Yes, as it turns out, I simply found it uh, the uh, talisman solution to the low. 
uh, while avoiding the extremely difficult to pull off trick. Which, to be honest, I didn't even know that was possible. And as a matter of fact, I am still flabbergasted by it because, honestly, I thought the Basher w would chip off the some of the build builder staircase. Um, but here, I'm I'm thinking it's because it needs to be done at a very very specific time. In particular, I believe the bashing animation has to be complete. Yeah, so that uh, the builder staircase is left intact. Because I believe if the builder uh, lays a brick, um, and then uh, the basher animation is going, yeah, then I think that's when the staircase will be chipped off. But I'm not sure, though. Um, quite honestly, um, I was taking surprise that it doesn't work. But at the same time, I can see that the level title itself is referring to the uh, Lemmings Plus 1 level from the Psycho rank, which requires you to do a somewhat similar thing as well. Only you have a lot more builders, yeah, in order to help it, and to help the basher. Um, but yes, I do agree that with Namina that uh, Fierce 14 is a very hard level. Uh, I just simply wasn't stuck here as long as I thought it would be. Okay, and then Fierce 15, this is the no builder, no builders level. Uh, from, um, yeah, that's pretty much found in the um, final rank at the Lemmings Plus packs. Uh, near the end. So, yeah, so Fierce 15 would be that level. Uh, this one definitely seemed a lot easier than, uh, than, the, than the Lemmings Plus 2 one. Um, probably because um, it is nowhere near as wide. Um, and then finally for Fierce 16, yes, this one was a very hard one, but uh, it felt very, very satisfying to figure out and solve. So, lots of red herrings that I fell for here, but um, Yes, I eventually found a solution. And yeah, this one did not take me as long as I thought it would as well. Um, so yeah, that is all of Lemmings Plus 3. I got to say, a very, very nice job for from Nibida for this very well done pack. I definitely enjoyed the challenges in here. Um, yeah, in particular, the, a lot of the hard ones here were um, quite satisfying to figure out. And, uh, admittedly, um, from... If you watch the um, LP of this pack, yeah, I had more problems with the dodgy rank um, than I did with the rough rank. But then once I reached reach Fierce, yeah, then I ran into a lot of problems. But um, even then, um, I say Fierce and rough, I, I'm, I'm sorry, not rough, and dodgy were about uh, equivalent to each other in how much I struggled with them. Uh, Fierce was definitely a lot slower going than, um, than the dodgy rank, though. But, um, yeah, I actually didn't need, like, um, that many levels in the Fierce rank that needed uh, multiple videos for the same level. As a matter of fact, I think Fierce 6 might have been the only one. Yeah, but I am not certain. Yeah, at least I can't recall right now. Whereas D Dodgy, yeah, there were a couple of levels in there that needed more than one video. Yeah, before I could solve it. But anyway, yes, uh, this is all Lemmings Plus 3, so therefore I have now completed another level pack by Namita. Yeah, the Dirt and the Lemmings Plus um, series. Yeah, along with uh, Lemmings Plus Alpha, which I also completed. So, that would leave uh, Lemmings Plus Holiday, Lemmings Plus 4, Lemmings Plus 5. So, that's 3 already, right? And then Lemmings Plus 6, uh, that's 4. And then the two Omega Packs, uh, I lost count. So, Le Lemmings Plus Holiday, Lemmings Plus 4. Let me plus five. Let me plus six. Um, and then the two Omega packs. So that's six more. Yeah, I still have six packs to go in the series. So still quite some ways to go, but um, I I will eventually get to them. Yeah, just the uh next my next little let's play of a uh, of one of Numidas pack. It's not going to be for a while, but in the meantime, there are several other packs that will keep me busy. So um, there's that too. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, Let's Play of Lemmings Plus 3. Um, it was somewhat of a long journey, but um, but it is shorter than either Lemmings Plus 1 and Lemmings Plus 2. So therefore, it definitely did not take as long as I thought it would. So um, it just simply took me uh, three days to LP the pack, I believe, the entire pack. So um, definitely a lot faster than I thought, than I thought it would be. But anyway, yeah, it is done. So, um, 
So now I have another Let's Play done. Um, so with this, yeah, this concludes Lemmy Plus 3. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me Let's Play this pack, if you've been watching. And I'll see you all for the next project, whatever that will be. Um, possibly it might be a uh, another conversion of a low pack. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but uh, with this Let's Play done, yeah, I think I'm going to take another break uh, before I LP another pack. Uh, right now, I don't even know what the next pack is going to be. Um, as a matter of fact, maybe at this point, it it will be a pretty good time to ask the Lemmy's Forums community what the next level pack to LP should be. So maybe I'll put up a poll uh, in my um, uh, in my uh, topic for that. So yes, um, with this, I will see you all next time for whatever for um, and keep an eye out on uh, on whatever projects I may be working on and the videos that I upload. See you all around.